Wilmer Everts Stevens was born September 8, 1901. He died December 27, 1986. He was from Laramie, Wyoming. And this 1824 is pathetically underrated. He was way underrated, but being from Wyoming, he probably didn't have much competition. One of the big problems of being from states with little chess activity is that you're generally underrated. For example, Alaska. Go look at the top 20 players in Alaska sometime, if there are 20 USAF players that even live in Alaska. Wilmer Everts Stevens was the Wyoming state chess champion in 1954 and also in 1962. Bobby with e4 this time, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5 is the Ray Lopez, Morphy's defense with a6, the Columbus variation with bishop a4, Knight f6, kingside castles. Knight takes the pawn is your open Spanish. d4, b5, bishop b3. d5, pawn takes pawn, bishop e6 is the main line of the open. Spanish game. C3, bishop c5. This is the Italian variation. Queen's knight to d2 is the St. Petersburg variation. Black castles, bishop comes to c2, and knight takes f2. This is known as Dilworth's variation. And it's one of the best scoring lines for black in the open Spanish game. Dilworth's variation is named for Vernon Dilworth. I think he was from the UK. He lived from September 16th, 1916 to October 9th, 2004. Rook takes the knight and Stevens abandons the ECO with bishop takes rook. And it's interesting how many of these games the ECO is broken by Bobby's opponent and not Bobby. He knew his, his openings. He sure did. But the ECO line is f6, pawn takes pawn, then bishop takes pawn, and king takes the bishop. Queen takes the pawn on f6, knight to f1, and knight to e5. Stevens taking the rook right away. And then king takes, well, then he played f6. Queen takes f6. Oh, there's, there's a book icon now. King g1, getting out of the pin. Uh, you definitely want to avoid a move like knight b3 here, which might feel natural to open this up, but it's definitely more complicated, especially after knight e5, as in the other book line that I showed. You can maybe play knight c5 here, but after knight takes the um, knight and pawn takes the knight, uh, it doesn't like knight takes the knight. Well, now I'll play rook a e8. It doesn't like that now. It said do that before. Anyway, this was the line in my mind. Knight takes bishop, queen takes bishop, and now the king will have to come up here to g3 to keep the queen off of h3. All right, uh, king g1 breaking the pin. Queen's rook to e8. Knight f1. Gets a question mark, h3 being indicated. I wanted a4 here. What does a4 get? Inaccurate. Knight f1, knight e5, knight e3. Most common move is bishop e3. Let me show you that line. Bishop e3, 
Knight takes knight check. Queen takes knight. Queen takes queen. Pawn takes queen. And rook takes pawn is the most commonly played line. And you can see the eval bar is dead center there. But knight e3 by Bobby. Knight takes knight check anyway. Queen takes knight. Queen takes queen. Pawn takes queen. Rook takes pawn anyway. And white does have to be very careful here about bishop h3. So for that reason, I felt like he should play bishop d2. He didn't. He played bishop d1. I want him to play bishop d2 to activate his rook. And then you're defending f1, and you can mobilize to e1. Bobby played bishop to d1 and hit the rook, and that gets a question mark. He played rook f7, offered the draw. The draw was accepted, and it's another fast draw at 20 moves. Now, rook f6 was a more hopeful approach, but I think black was already prepared to offer a draw. We can play bishop b3, super attacking the d-man. That will, well, I don't, have to I, I don't have to play c6. I could play c5, and on bishop... No, let me play knight takes pawn because it hits the rook. Knight takes pawn, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop check. Well, really, in this line, black looks like he's got at least a little something to play for. And I got stars on all my moves, so rook f6 was clearly better. But after rook f7, the draw was offered and accepted. The accuracies in this game were 94.0 for Bobby, 96.6 .6 accuracy for Wilmer Stevens. The single game ratings were 2,600 for Bobby and 2,750 for Wilmer Stevens. I think Bobby knew he was actually in some trouble here. So when Wilmer played... A less than optimal move and offered the draw. I think Bobby was glad to accept it. You might not think that it's going to be that great for black since white has two pieces for one, but Bobby's pieces are not well placed, are they?